Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm doing another Hello Fresh mystery kit today. So today um, we are doing a meatless version. So we're doing a vegetarian Hello Fresh kit. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients that we have today. So as part of our kit, we have our main ingredient, which looks to be these um, poblano peppers, I think. Uh, pretty large peppers here. Uh, already I'm starting to think that this is probably going to be like a stuffed pepper, probably roasted um, and then stuffed with these other ingredients. So that's kind of what I'm getting a feeling for. I have a medium or a small, I have a small sized uh, white onion. I have one Roma tomato. I have uh, what looks to be a serrano pepper, a pretty small one, um, so pretty tiny. Got a little lime. I have some cheese here that I think is probably like a jack cheese. I'm actually not that great at identifying cheese based on taste, um, but it looks like a white cheese. It's a little, it has a pretty um, strong taste to it, so it's definitely not a mozzarella, so that's why I'm thinking it's a jack. There's a little bit of avocado here. I think it's, I think it has maybe some garlic added to it, maybe even some lime just to keep it from oxidizing. Um, I don't really smell some garlic in there, so I think it's more than just plain avocado. So I think it's avocado with a little bit of um, lime and maybe some garlic. I've got two uh, ingredients here in this dish. This one dark dish, I want to say it's um, some sort of base. In keeping with the vegetable theme, I'm assuming it's a vegetable base. Um, it tastes a little beefy, so I think it might be like a mushroom base, maybe. Um, it has a pretty rich flavor to it. And then this one here tastes kind of like a taco seasoning or a fajita seasoning. I'm picking up some like um, garlic powder. I'm picking up some cumin. I'm picking up some maybe like some sort of like chili powder, that sort of thing. It definitely tastes uh, very like Latin inspired. And then I have some rice, some jasmine rice, and then some sour cream. So I'm imagining that this is supposed to be, like I said, a stuffed poblano pepper. I would imagine that the uh, rice is cooked and then um, Probably, you wrote, probably imagine roasting the peppers and then stuffing it with the rice. Um, perhaps maybe cooking out the onion, um, uh, maybe with this sort of mushroom base and this fajita seasoning to sort of give it some flavor, and then putting that all inside and then topping it with the cheese, probably putting it back in the oven and then melting it down, and then topping it with um, the uh, guacamole stuff. And then I think that the tomato is probably supposed to be maybe into a, uh, like a salsa. And then you probably put the salsa on top to serve. Um, I'm gonna just go off a little bit. So instead of doing a stuffed pepper, I think what I'm gonna do is more of like a rice bowl. So I'm gonna continue to, I'm probably gonna roast the poblano out. So I'm gonna cut them in half, take out the seeds, um, with a little bit of olive oil, roast them in at 400 degrees to kind of blister the skins. I'll probably end up cutting them into strips. I think I am going to cook down the onion. And then here's my little uh, plate of extra ingredients of things that I just have in my fridge or my freezer that I'm going to use. So here I have some button mushrooms. I have some frozen roasted corn and I have some red onion. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the white onion with the mushrooms together and the corn and then that's going to be kind of like a vegetable base to go with the poblano peppers on top of the rice and then i will make a a little like a pico with the red onion because i kind of want the sweetness of the red onion with the tomato lime and the serrano pepper continue to top it with the cheese and the guacamole as kind of a garnish and um, also the sour cream will kind of just be on top as well so uh, next up, you guys, I'm just going to start prepping all of my vegetables. I'm going to cut everything down. I'm going to get these guys into the oven. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook out my mushrooms and my onions and all of that stuff. And then we will come back in just a second.
right, you guys, so we are back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the peppers. So I put them in the 400 degree oven until the skin started to kind of blister a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna put these in a paper bag. All I had left was a Chipotle bag, so I'm gonna put it in this Chipotle bag. And uh, I'm gonna put it in this paper bag and I'm gonna seal it up so that it steams a little bit and allows me to remove the skin from the peppers. Chipotle bag. Okay, get that out of the way. I've got my pan preheating here. I've got two more minutes on my rice. So that should be going off here in just a second. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. So the rice is done. So that's just gonna kind of sit there and wait. My pan is preheating. I'm gonna to start to cook my vegetables. I'm gonna cook my um, my mushrooms and my onions. I'm gonna throw in this roasted corn as well. And then I've got a little bit of pepper. And I'm also gonna deglaze with just a little bit of white wine too. So I've got that and then I've got all of my, um, I've got this uh, base, the flavor base, as well as the seasoning base too. So I'm gonna season them up with that as well. Okay, so the bottom is getting pretty hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my oil. Kind of let that heat up. I'm gonna add in my mushrooms first and get those nice and toasty. I wanna make sure that my pan is pretty hot because I don't want them to kind of sit and absorb the oil if they're not, uh, if it's not hot enough. So I really do wanna see some smoke kind of coming up. Just about there. It's still not hot enough. Okay. Mushrooms are going in. I want to add these guys in first and get them some color before I add in my onions. Try and get them in kind of one layer spread out just a little bit. This recipe is coming together pretty quick. Um, even roasting the pepper, the whole, I think from start to finish is maybe within 30 minutes. Alright, I'm starting to see a little golden on the mushrooms, so I'm going to add just a bit more oil than that in my onion. I'll let the alcohol cook off just a bit, and then I'm going to add in this vegetable base. Keep down.
All right, great. All right, let that hang out, and then we're gonna finish up with the peppers. Out of the bag, um, because of the steam, the charred skin is starting to kind of loosen. So I'm just gonna rinse it under a little bit of water to help pull the skin off. Then I'm gonna cut these into just slices. seeds out as well. My rice has finished cooking. To the rice, I'm going to go ahead and add in my, I saved half of that lime, so I'm going to add in half of the lime juice, and then I zested the lime as well, so I'm going to add the lime zest too. And then I'm going to start to put everything together. I think what I'm going to do too, after I cut these peppers into strips, is I'm going to toss them in a pan with some of that leftover um, taco seasoning or the, the, the seasoning there just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Also to kind of reheat up the peppers because as I've cut them up, they started to cool down a little bit and I don't want them to be cold when they go in the final dish. Reheated my peppers there uh, in the skillets with a little bit of that extra fajita seasoning. I'm just going to put some of this lime rice in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to layer everything up. I'm going to put the peppers on next. These are the roasted poblano peppers that have been sauteed with a little bit of the fajita seasoning. Okay, next on top of that is going to be my um, mushroom, onion, and roasted corn. Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's do some cheese kind of like around. Alright, I'm going to do some of this. Then I have 
have this tomato onion pico with a little bit of the uh, serrano chili. I added a little honey there as well to give it some sweetness. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right on top. And this is going to be our final product, you guys. This is my roasted poblano rice bowl. All right, so let's take a look at the recipe. Guys, so um, let's take a recipe. So the actual recipe is a Mexican cheesy rice stuffed poblano uh, with guacamole and zesty crema. So pretty much kind of what I was thinking, cutting the poblano in half and then roasting it, and then it looks like all of the ingredients were kind of put inside of the um, pepper with some of the rice on the outside as well. So it is a veggie stock concentrate, so it is uh, kind of good on that. Southwest Spice Blend as well. I wonder if it says what's in there. It doesn't say what's in there. Uh, yeah, Jack, Monterey Jack cheese. So it's right on the cheese. Um, guacamole. So not too far off. Like I said, I feel like I once I saw a poblano pepper, I kind of knew that it was going to be a stuffed pepper. Um, but I wanted to go in a little different direction, so I did the uh, rice bowl instead. So thanks for joining me uh, for today's recipe, you guys. And I will see you guys next time.